So uh, the magnesium and the copper two sulfates in a simple chemical cell has reaction between them. So we need to take away the magnesium and uh, from the copper two sulfate solution. Um, we use a beaker containing the copper two sulfate solution. And the magnesium is dipped into this magnesium sulfate solution. Copper dipped into copper two sulfate solution. Okay. So we look at how it work. We have a very <coughs> uh, reactive metal magnesium and we have a copper electrode. We need to separate the magnesium metal and the copper two sulfate solution. And externally, we collect to a light bulb. And we dip the magnesium metal into the magnesium sulfate solution. So um, the, we expect that the magnesium uh, lose the electrons from magnesium ion and dissolve into the bigger magnesium sulfate while the electrons go to the copper electrode at where the electrons are accepted by the cation copper two ions forming copper and they um, the electrons moving externally from magnesium to copper. However, the, um, the circuit is not complete. So uh, we need to complete the two beakers together. Um, we use a filter paper and this filter paper is not dry it's wetted or soaked with an electrolyte this electrolyte uh, commonly used the is um, sodium chloride or sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate or ammonium chloride uh, they, 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 they function as to conduct electricity by not electron but by the mobile ions. So uh, to see how it works, uh, we, for example, we have the sodium ion and chloride ion in the filter paper and the filter paper with electrolytes it is called salt bridge okay the beaker of magnesium sulfate you see that the magnesium continuously lose electrons and formation of magnesium ion and the 
positive cation accumulated. So uh, there is a positive charge build up. And to um, to balance the charge, the soft beach anion chloride will come out. To balance the positive charge accumulated in the beaker of magnesium sulfate. And the beaker of the copper 2 sulfate. There is a decrease in copper 2 ion. And the sulfate anion is keep constant. So there is a drop in the cation number. And there is an accumulation of negative charge. So the soft beach cation comes out to balance the charge of self, um, accumulation of negative charge. So uh, you can see that the soft beach can balance the charge of two beakers and inside the soft beach the ions responsible for conduction of electricity and we can also see um, the outward movement of the ions we can also see there is a inward movement of the ions example the beaker of magnesium sulfate increasing number of magnesium ion the excess magnesium ion will go into the stoppage while the excess sulfate anion will go into the stoppage from the beaker of copper 2 sulfate So uh, the old, um, you can see the negative electrons clockwise movement. The anion sulfate clockwise clockwisely move, and also the chloride ion negative charge ion moving clockwisely. And then we look at, look at the movement of the cations, they are opposite direction. They move in anti-clockwisely. Magnesium ion go into the stoppage, the sodium ion moving out from the stoppage.